let us discuss about forced oscillations and resonance natural frequency if no external force acts on a system then the system will execute oscillations of frequency new not called natural frequency oscillations produced under the effect of an external periodic force of frequency other than the natural frequency of the oscillator are called forced oscillations if an external force ft is applied to a damped oscillator then ft equals to f not cos omega dt equation 1 where f not equals to amplitude of external force omega d means driven frequency the motion of a particle under the combined action of a linear restoring force damping force and a time dependent driving force as represented by equation 1 is given by m a of t equals to minus k x t minus b v t plus f naught cos omega d t m d square x by d t square plus b d x by d t plus k x equals to f naught cos omega d t equation 2 the displacement after the natural oscillation dies out is given by x t equals to a cos of omega d t plus phi amplitude a is the function of the forced frequency omega d and the natural frequency omega analysis shows that it is given by a equals to f naught by m square omega square minus omega d square plus omega d square b square power 1 by 2 tan phi equals to minus nu naught by omega d x naught where m stands for mass of the particle v naught stands for velocity of the particle at t equals to zero x naught equals to displacement of the particle at t equals to zero omega equals to natural frequency case one small damping driving frequency far from natural frequency omega d b much less than m of omega square minus omega d square a equals to f naught by m omega square minus omega d square from equation 3 case 2 driving frequency close to natural frequency omega d is very close to omega m of omega square minus omega d square much less than omega d b a equals to f naught by omega db from equation 3 